guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. And in today's video, I have this computer right here. This is a Dell Latitude D830. So, we are going to fix this computer up. We will install a dual boot of Lubuntu and Puppy Linux on this old computer. Let's go. System and now we'll go down to Gparted Partition Manager SDA Internal Drive. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go, whoops, we're just going to go to Device, Create Partition Table, and we'll switch this to GPT. There we go and we'll click apply. There we go, now we have an unallocated 110 gigabytes and if you go to view device information, you can see that it is indeed GPT. So, you can uncheck that box. We'll just go new and we will make an EXT2 partition about Fifteen gigabytes, a little bit less, and we'll set the file system to ext2. All right, now we have ninety-seven gigabytes left. So I want a FAT32 partition that both Puppy Linux and Lubuntu can share. So I'll make a new FAT32 partition, and I'll keep it up. About, let's say 30 gigabytes and then we have about 70 gigabytes left for Lubuntu so right there we'll just click apply all right so now that that is done we'll close we can shorten this window now we'll go back down over to applications and we will go to setup puppy installer universal installer internal IDE SATA S blah 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 hard drive click this one and um, so now if we go here dev SDA1 is our ext2 partition so we'll do SDA1 okay we can close Gparted it out now. So we'll do Frugal, and we'll just click OK. Again, we'll just click OK. All right. Here, one asks us, would you like to install Grub for DOS? Since Lubuntu is going to install Grub, we're just gonna click No, click OK, and it says OK. All done. So that means it's all done, obviously. So that's it for installing Puppy Linux. All right, here we are on the Ubuntu and on the Lubuntu install CD. We're just gonna do English. Install Lubuntu. All right. So we just do this one. We connect to the internet, and now we can set up. The host name of the system? Lubuntu. Alright, there we go. Let's click continue. We'll enter the name. We'll make a password. And here we'll just click no. Continue. And we'll just do guided. Use the largest continuous free space. That's why we left 70 gigabytes of free space. Now let's go right changes to disk. And there we go, it will install Ubuntu for us. All right, here we go. Here we'll just click yes. And 
installation is complete. Alright, so we're just going to do yes. Start Rescap. We'll just go to menu, restore grub, run. Alright, so right here, um, we have Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, that's actually Lubuntu. So we're just gonna do that. We'll just click OK. Because we want it to be stored, we want Lubuntu to host it, not Puppy Wing. All right, so right here it says success, Grub was installed, okay. So now we can just exit, and then you can install Grub Customizer to customize the Grub menu and add Puppy Linux if you want. But I have those in other videos, so you can go watch those other videos if you want to know how to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you out. While I did do it with this laptop, this dual boot will work with just about any laptop that you want to do it with and it's really a good choice of operating systems especially for old computers out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already by the way. I'll see you next time.